the state of my kitchen after having a late breakfast and we're on the VR it's his turn it's fr Friday I think so and um, I didn't pick up the camera yesterday which was Thursday because I just didn't I can't say. Um, so Friday today and I think Kirk is maybe arriving today who knows he was meant to be arriving three days ago didn't turn up because uh, he needs to get a lift up here and um, back um so how do i start my day i think you all know dinner time i was when well, i was chopping away my red chilies i just thought of uh, of a memory back from my um university days when i was flat sharing with a group of students and uh, we had this one boy that had a room like i spent a year in this house with this bloke and never did it cross uh, my mind that he was a homosexual in fact i wasn't even sure what a homosexual was in those days it was like it's probably about 20. all my other housemates knew and they just protected me because they knew that I was totally innocent and they didn't want to tell me. But it never even crossed my mind when I used to see boys coming in and out of his room. Never, never ever crossed my mind that, you know, he's, he's you know, a nice gay boy. Uh, so it just goes to show how innocent I was in those days. But I'm making something out of this pork mince. I actually managed to get this for like, ooh, cheap, 75p from Tesco's. Uh, Saw a recipe for a fried porky thingy, looked quite good, so I'm going to give it a, a try. It's going to heat some oil. If you want to have a look, I'll show you. So the oil is heating up, and I'm going to chuck in some shots. I've never used shots before, but it's a first, isn't it? I've got these broccoli, tender stem broccoli, reduced down to one pound eight. I never ever, mind you, I've got the pork for 75p. Normally it's about three or three pounds something. That was a bargain. So, wash them. Onions, let's put some garlic and ginger into there. Those are garlic, black garlic. That goes in. Let that fire for a bit. Couldn't find any uh, lemon grass. I've got green curry paste. So we're back to that thing. <laughs> Not sure. Put this there. Just a little bit. Give that a bit fire. Oh, I forgot the tomato puree. Oh. I haven't got any tomato puree. There's a tin of tomatoes. Just a little bit, I think. Just a little bit of colour. Try that. Yeah. Just a little bit of tomato puree. Okay. Actually, I did say to put the sweet soy sauce. Obviously, the hamburger, so I thought I'd use some squeezing. Just imagine what the flavour's going to be like. Oh, perhaps it's delicious. Let's put a little hamburger in there. Yay, that'll do. And then some red chilies. And then some spring onion. Oh, we're going to be going. Yeah, just imagine the flavour. Oh, I've got to put some salt in. Just put a bit of salt. And um, I'm actually getting some white pepper today. I haven't had any. So we'll put some of that. Put a tad of uh, brown sugar in as well. I'll just taste it. It just needs a little bit of sweetening up and it's perfect. There we go. A bit of sugar. And then give that. And some corn flour and water. I watch blossoms it up. She's going to be perfect. Put up and let it glisten. I think it will. Yeah, it is. I want to have a close up of what it's looking like. This is some Vietnamese pork, I think. Oh. Because I had some chicken left over from the other night, I thought I'll make a chicken just uh, by using one of these packets here, so I'm cheating. <laughs> Otherwise, it's um, crazy. It's so easy to make Chinese, Asian foods because everything is just quick, quick, quick. I reckon I'm on my PNTs because I've not really picked the camera up today or yesterday. Uh, been a bit in a grump actually. Um, just quieting down a bit. So yeah, I reckon it is my PMTs, but I seem to be okay at the moment. As soon as I've got some music on and in my cooking zone, I'm fine. So there is my oh my god, it looks stunning in my video camera. Whoa, that's the pork. There's chicken. And my broccoli, which I just seasoned and put some sesame oil on. And that's what we're going to have with some boiled rice. Oh, I have cooked any Indian food for quite a while. Um, just because we're both favouring this. It's lighter 
and yeah it still has all the elements of chilies uh, and all the different kinds of flavors right finish the meal uh i should be having a party tonight it's friday night but and my neighbor's not in so i could really actually put the music on really loud but i've decided that i want to go and play some vr so Kason's playing table tennis on the vr which is called 11 which is great and you play against a robot, but I want him to change the robot to look like more like G Chang Wook. So I can call him G. Oi, G! Pass the ball! <laughs> Don't worry, folks. I think I'm going, I'm overcoming the whole thingy now. You know, I think I've saturated on all these dramas that I need to change. <laughs> There's something going on with Kason. He's being a bit nice today. Yes, babe. Grumpy, oh, so was I, I suppose. And today, we both seem to be in fairly good, good moods. He even gave me a glass of water earlier on. You tell while he's while he's playing the VR, I'm sat on the sofa waiting for my turn, and I'm chatting away with you guys. Uh, this whole daily vloggy thing, I think I've mentioned it quite. It's not my thing. Uh, my thing is to be in the van, travelling around, experiencing different sceneries and foods and pubs and stuff like that. And now I'm doing a lockdown vlog. <laughs> Thank you all that have stayed with me all this time, by the way. <laughs> and it's Saturday. Uh, 23rd? <laughs> I'm not sure. And uh, yes, it's definitely PMTs because I'm just feeling on a uh, kind of a low. I don't know. But this um, whole daily vlogging thingy, it's hard work, isn't it? When considering that you've got not much to vlog about. Um, and I don't want my channel to be plagued with loads of boring videos. Okay, not boring i don't find them boring actually <laughs> i think they're quite entertaining um but i think i'm gonna like put some extra effort into what i put out there on on my channel and i have got a plan now i think some of you are aware of the fact that i do belong to some <coughs> big facebook um camper van groups because that's my passion camper vanning although i have not really done much of that in my own um so what i've devised is um hmm, we'll see if it becomes anything i'm not going to say too much now so i've got kurt coming around now to see Kason. probably spend one night over here and i'm going to cook some chinese dumplings i don't know how he'll like it but if Kason likes it i'm sure his dad will too this is what Kirk has bought. Yep, he's sweet fanatic, chocolate fanatic, junk fanatic. Good God, an aftershave. Um, I don't know why. This is the first time that Kirk's going to be trying dumplings. What you got here then? What are they? Are they hot? Kason, do you want to explain? Yeah, this is pork mince inside. And there's like dairy outside and it covers it. Oh. Oh. Ow. Like it? Mm. Do you like it then? It's alright. Hot. Yeah, I've just got them out. I don't know, Casey, you're the chief tester. A uh, hot one. I've got no teeth to bite it. They're quite soft. Hot. Too hot. Too hot. So, Casey's dad's downstairs. I've come upstairs to the bedroom to watch Netflix. Yes. <laughs> Farewell. Look at them, sat there on the sofa, watching TV, oh. just had some fright here. Oh. Good boy. Having a haircut session. Oh man, I 
friend has left me something on my table. Kimchi! And snow bean. Oh my god. She knows me too well. Sight and flare with Case and he's hiding. Uh, with some cakes. The reason being, it's her birthday. Yes, on this day, she was born and it's her 30th. So in celebration, I've got these shoe pet. I didn't make them. <laughs> there's one for you, Kaysen. There's one for me. Happy birthday, Flair. Hope you have many more. Mmm. This fan has been with me for two years and she's gone through a lot of changes and uh, she's enabled me to go on my, my adventures. God, I feel, I feel like I want to cry. <laughs> it's all part of my PMTs, I get emotional. Uh, she's um, taken me to places around the United Kingdom and has always been there when I've come back from my long walks. And so reliable, always starts up. She's, I feel like she's looked after me. It's like my little sanctuary. Um, so I hope there'll be many more years of freedom with her. And yes, thank you, Flair, for looking out for me and Kaysen on our adventures. Congratulations on being 30. My PC towel, which I don't really use that much. When I wanted to use it, I turned it on and there was beep, beep, beep noises. So somebody told me I got to open it up, which was a bit of a challenge in itself. And the memory cards, I need to click onto them to make sure they're in place. Oh, I've got the PC without the beeps now. It took me a while to take the cover off. And then I just pressed down on everything, really. And the beeping is stopped. So thank you very much to Fred James Dodd, Dave Bridge and Stuart Lambeth for advising me. Thank you. Right, for today, I'm going to make a lamb curry because I bought this from the reduced section. It's not really that much reduced, £1.52. They're normally about three quid, aren't they? I'm going to make a lamb curry tonight. Now, I think I started off with my story, no, I finished off my story when I ended up in Holland after being in Guernsey, staying at a friend's house. Uh, it's a family home in the middle of some woods, it was spectacular to be honest, and uh, they had a family friend. She was an English woman who married a Dutch man, and uh, she uh, used to visit my friend's family home quite often for a chat. And we got on really well. And then she thought that she'd offer me a job as an au pair because she was pregnant at the time and we got on really well. And uh, she wanted me to stay in Holland uh, a bit longer because I was gonna fly back to England because my holiday was over. <laughs> um, so she offered me a job as an au pair. And I said, yeah, okay, I wanna, I wanna stay in Holland for a bit longer, I'll take you on. So I moved into her palatial home now she was married to a dutch uh what do you call it a publisher of a very arty farty magazine so you can imagine their house was uh, absolutely amazing it had a massive garden that led onto fields there was a uh what, what do they call for horses where they rear thoroughbreds uh, there was horses um the furnishing was like something that you'd see out of a Tackler magazine. It was just amazing. And she was an abstract, I say she was an abstract artist. And her paintings used to sell for like £20,000 each. And they were just, they were abstract. <laughs> Beautiful. Um, and she was quite eccentric. You know, quite mad like an artist would be. But we got on really, really well. So I moved into this house. And uh, I chose to stay in the attic room which was above the horses stables it had no carpets no nothing it was it was an attic just pure wood but i chose to stay there because it was uh, far removed from the family so once i finished my job just helping around the house and cooking cleaning and all that 
uh, and having a chat with her <laughs> i can go into my little attic room i mean i couldn't even stand up in it <laughs> it's mad oh my god i really roughed it up in those days <laughs> so i wasn't exactly the best all pair to have i was going out every night getting drunk coming back home setting off alarm bells <laughs> Mad. and she had the baby and then i had to no i still didn't become sensible <laughs> i helped her with, well, she she took the primary care of, of the child but uh, i did all the household or chores and um got paid for it and all, all my wages would go on going out now sandra oh she was lovely she was mad as a hatter and we got on so well and because she was english we had kind of the same sense of humor as well she totally got me and i totally got her and she coined the um the the perfect description for me which was a butterfly which meant that i went from place to place and made everything happy da 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 and then i would go off somewhere forgetting my previous place and then making the other place really happy and she was so right because that's how i am i flit her from place to place everyone's really happy and everything and then i forget and it's i i do beat myself up about it because i've lost so many friendships from not keeping in contact with people uh over the years it's just not very good on chatting over the phone or keeping up with uh, emails and, and stuff like that just not i wherever i am the friends that i've got behind me yes they have all my attention but once i'm away from that area and i'm not in communication with them then I, it's not that i forget i just just don't keep up the <laughs> now the dutch men are just glorious aren't they i mean they're all over six foot with perfect teeth it was the teeth and the height of these dutch men that were just like oh my god they're probably the best looking nation and they look after themselves and they all seem to be arty farty as well well the ones that i met were uh... so most of my friends in holland that i made were very close to me i mean i spent nearly every day with them and because they uh, Dutch being their their first language and English being just something that they were learning, we got on really well. I, I only know I only knew a little bit of uh, the Dutch language, not much to have a proper conversation. Just well, just with the with the parents, I guess. And um, so we spent so much time together, just hanging about in the bars or in, or in her bedroom, just having a chat. And most of the discussions would be about men, to be honest. <laughs> and you know what happened the night before and who we spoke to da, da, da. and one of them she's um she's actually on my facebook list so we're still in contact absolutely stunning she's apps she was like a model and uh, i used to hang about with her so it was quite easy when we used to go out because all the men used to be drawn to her would come over and approach us and it would be me giving it <laughs> all that she would sit there and just like look really beautiful and i'd be all full of shit so anyway got my salad got my oven naan bread and my curry look at that doesn't it look delicious yum yum love my camera makes it look so good and some rice I'm kind of sorry that i haven't really been doing my daily vlogs and releasing them out it's just because i've got pmts at the moment and when i'm like this i have no energy or any oomph or anything i'll soon bounce back though um, so i'm just going to sit down and edit this video for you guys for tonight just like what's been going on in the last few days in the times that i have bothered to pick the camera up <laughs>